Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications so you never miss when I post a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be talking about shaving. By shaving, I mean shaving your pubic area, your bikini line, your downstairs, your kitty, your vagina, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to be shaving today. Well, talking about shaving, I'm not going to do a demonstration, but we're going to be talking about shaving your downstairs today. Along with what I do, I'm going to be giving you helpful tips and things like that, just so you know how to really master that shave, because we don't want irritation bumps, we don't want razor burn, hair bumps, ingrown hairs, anything like that. But I do want to say that if you don't want to shave, please do not feel like you need to shave. I said this in a couple videos of mine if you don't want to remove any of your body hair please don't feel like you have to let me personally there's been times where I've wanted to let my armpit hair grow out so long that I could dread it um and that's just me you know what I mean I've never done it but what I probably because I can you know and if that's what you want to do then that's what you want to do if you want to do the same thing with your pubic hair you can do that do whatever makes you smile do whatever makes you happy because honestly I think that would be hilarious I kid you not, I think that would be pretty funny. Don't ever make anybody feel like you have to be completely hairless down there and bald and stuff like that. I kind of think that's a little creepy. We're kind of teetering on the line of like creepy. But I wanted to get on here and talk about this because I know this is a topic that can be like daunting for a lot of young girls. Like it can be scary. Like first learning how to shave down there is like such a big task and using something like a razor can just be so scary. And honestly thinking about it, I was never really taught how to do it. I kind of just had to figure it out myself so i don't want anybody to have to be in that position where they have to figure things out themselves i want to be the one to have this uncomfortable conversation with you guys you know be like that big sister that i always aspire to be like also guys please ignore just please ignore we're gonna have them done for my birthday okay so first things first guys i do want to mention that you do want your pubic hair to be a certain length you don't really want it to be too short or too long because if it's too long it'll be harder for you to shave so I recommend trimming it. These are what I use for my eyebrows, but I'm just using it for a demonstration. There's literally fuzz in it. You just comb it, the hair, and then trim. You want something more fine toothed than that comb that I showed you. But yes, get some scissors that are like this small and scissors that you are okay with using down there and only down there. It's just easier to shave it off when it's shorter. You want it to be about a quarter of an inch. If it's too short to the point where it's just like stubble and you're trying to shave that away, you're going to get ingrown hairs, you're going to get razor burn, and it's going to be painful. Uh, trust me, take it from me, I've shaved off stubble, it hurts. That razor burn, that irritation, that rash, it is not fun. So just don't, don't do that, okay? So after you do that and you're ready to finally shave, I recommend using a men's razor. Um, you can literally get them anywhere. I, I recommend four to five blades. I think the razor I use has four blades, but I've used one with five before just for a closer shave. This is the one by Bic. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at like Kroger or something like that in a pack of four. I read somewhere also that if you're really sensitive down there, use a three blade razor, but a four to five blade, it'll get a really close shave. I know some people recommend to shave with cold water so your pores don't even open up, but I'm just a hot shower, hot bath kind of girl. So what you're going to want to do is make sure everything's wet down there. You're in the shower, you're in the tub. And this is a homemade scrub. I know I've told you guys before that you can use tree hut scrubs. You can use things like that, but I recommend using something that's natural and unscented. Um, so you're not putting any scents down there because y'all know how I feel about scents and you're downstairs I don't like it. I don't recommend it even though I have used scented exfoliants down there before but only on the Upper portion not anywhere near the lips or anything like that. So what's in here is a type of cane sugar It's like ter terbindo sugar. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got it from Whole Foods and Coconut oil that's literally it and it's not super exfoliating to the point that's going to irritate you but it still gets the job done and the the whole point of exfoliating is to ensure that first the skin is smooth you're not getting any ingrowns or anything like that and exfoliating helps with darkness and discoloration down there because i know that's a problem for a lot of people so exfoliating and even if you don't want to use a scrub you can use a washcloth a loofah i don't really recommend loofahs but something that you can exfoliate down there with and i do want to say when it comes to your vagina as a whole less is more you don't need all those fragrances you don't need all those scents you don't need to be super abrasive and rough with it less is totally more so i just exfoliate and then i get to shaving couple products you can use to shave i recommend using a like cream or an oil or gel or something like that not too 
you don't want to just shave while it's just wet i mean you can shave right after this because some people do shave with coconut oil which is like perfect you can totally shave with coconut oil in my opinion it's worked for me and the way it leaves it feeling baby smooth if i don't use coconut oil I use this aloe vera gel. I'm not going to show you the bottle because it's dirty because I've had it in my house for a really long time. But get the one with no alcohol in it because it will burn. So make sure it's alcohol free because that'll really hurt. So you can use the um, aloe vera gel. I know a lot of people use that. Okay, a lot of people like to use the Johnson's Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. The only thing I don't like about this is that it is scented. So you want to be careful with getting it down and around there. But if you're only going to use it on the top part, then like it should be okay. I mean, I've used it before. It hasn't really given me any problems. I don't like to use gels or creams or anything once I get to the under portion. So you know you have the upper portion that you can like see. And then you have the under part where your lips are and things like that. I don't really like to use creams and gels and things for under there but that's just my personal preference oh you can also use an unscented shaving cream or shaving cream that they make specifically for the pubic area they have a lot of razors shaving scrubs things like that for down there also i forgot to mention the dove body polish one that might be a little more softly scented like they have one that's like colloidal oatmeal you can use that to shave down there too because it's really not scented because you don't want anything that's scented i cannot stress this enough i stress this in all of my videos you want to make sure that you're not putting anything scented down there because that leads to infections if you want to know more about that just check my feminine hygiene routine and you guys can learn all about that there okay and like i said there's there's scrubs oils gels and stuff that are specifically made for your pubic hair so you can go pick one of those up they have razors and everything specifically for that but i have never tried those so you want to shave in the direction that the hair grows which is could be different for everybody but i know a general rule of thumb is just to shave in downward directions now i'm gonna say this i don't know if you're supposed to do this but if there's any stubble i just go in whatever direction i need to to make sure that goes away because i want it to be perfectly smooth but to get a majority of the hair off i do shave in downward motions so you just want to pull the skin tight or it's hot as people say it and you just want to shave in a downward motion the part where it gets tricky for a lot of people is just the underneath portion with your lips and things like that i can't really give you any specific way to shave that because it the way hair grows down there and stuff like that is so different for everybody all i'm saying is, is just please be careful the way i do it is i kind of i kind of just pull my skin back and just shave it away gently just just to make sure I'm shaving it away. I don't get any irritation bumps or anything like that the way that I do it, but it might be different for y'all. As far as shaving your behind goes, literally just put your leg up on the bathtub or whatever, just put your leg up on something, the toilet seat, and literally spread your cheeks or spread one side of your cheek and just make this, this motion, like a swiping motion almost. That's a bad demonstration. Make like a, a swiping motion by your butt. And it'll come all out but honestly don't really worry about shaving your butt i i mean unless you need to but i really wouldn't worry about it it's really pointless i just think shaving your butt is not necessarily a must but if you want to that's just how i do it like i said there's really no rhyme or reason as to how i do it once i get underneath and back towards that area i just shave in a direction that feels comfortable for me so just take your time and be really precise and careful with it because you can cut yourself i think we've all been there with nicks and stuff like that with the top part after you shave everything you're going to want to exfoliate again because that's just how we do around here you just want to exfoliate again that's what you just got to do because then it's really going to make sure that you don't get any ingrowns or anything like that and then after you exfoliate once again you're going to want to take a cold towel you can take a cold paper towel cold something and then pat 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 on it to close your pores because it's important that you close your pores another key is moisturizing now we've talked about moisturizing down there before you can use coconut oil like i said you may want to talk to your doctor about that i'm not entirely sure it's different for other people but you can't i think you can use coconut oil just check with your doctor first you can also use the aloe vera gel as long as it doesn't contain alcohol because like i said that may sting a little bit so you might just want to get the one that doesn't have alcohol in it but I prefer moisturizing with coconut oil because the dryer gets down there and things like that it's just really uncomfortable so you're going to want to keep that skin moisturized as you would with any other part of your body you just do not want to put victoria's secret bath and body works and things like that down or around like 
anywhere in that area because that is just that's just a no-no just be careful with what you put down there as far as lotions and things like that go because like i said less is more when it comes to your downstairs you don't want super heavy creams super heavy lotions things like that because it'll really just lead to infections and throw off your ph balance like i mentioned two videos ago so as you can see shaving down there is really not that hard but i know it can be a difficult task for a lot of young people out there and it's it's daunting and it can be scary so i really wanted to offer this advice to you guys so if you have any questions concerns or tips that you would like to leave down below just go ahead and comment please like subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss when i post a brand new video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one